the divide in this nation that is growing uh, is being fueled by those who are claiming or are in uh, evangelicalism, conservative conservatism. You're absolutely correct. Uh, they are blind. They're blind because they don't want to truly know the truth. Uh, and I've said this as a pastor for the past 24 years that I've been a Christian, leaving Islam, Brandon, that I believe that the greatest challenges and the greatest threat that as Christians we have is from within. Uh, we know what to expect from the left. We know what to expect from Muslims if we understand Islam. We know what to expect uh, from communists and socialists and Marxists, as Trevor just covered with your last segment. But what is the... Uh, the, the, the deception is within the church and within evangelicalism and with those, within those who are then uh, covering up and trying to placate our enemies and, don't, and not understanding the spiritual enemies that we have. So your assessment is right on. Um, and and, and uh, I, I'm just concerned that it may be too late for this nation because of the state of evangelicalism and because of the divide that uh, this nation is in now. Well, even today I saw a, uh, sorry guys, even today I saw, I'll let you guys do that, fix that. Even today I saw a so-called pastor, uh, you know, trashing on the Zionist, trashing on, trashing on the Christian Zionist. This is a nationally known pastor going after the dispensationalist, uh, those who believe in a literal interpretation of scripture and what God's plan is for the nation state of Israel. And and yet this guy is very popular among many in evangelicalism. And it is just so disheartening because it shows us how far we have sunk. You know, what you and I believe, uh, what Dr. Rob Linstead, Andy Woods, uh, many of us, th this is what Billy Graham taught. This is what Adrian Rogers, Charles Stanley, D.L. Moody, uh, John Whitcomb, uh, uh, Dr. Walvoord. Th this is mainstream 21st century Christianity what we're what we're teaching and believing our churches have been hijacked by pastors who went to seminaries that were influenced by people that didn't really know how to teach the bible good hermeneutics uh and many of them were being simply taught a progressive ideology as well as simply marketing and promotion how to count nickels and noses not how to study the Bible. One reason we know that is because of the pastors who went through those seminaries who have written books saying we spend more of our time learning how to draw in a crowd and market and marketing and fundraising than we ever did how to study the Bible. And then we have this group of people that say Israel has now replaced been replaced by the church. So quit talking about Israel. Uh, like, like our friends in, uh, quote friends, James White, you know? I mean, this is this is what we tried warning about in 2017, and yet we got chewed up and spit out. Well, here you go. It's almost like God's saying, you know what? You guys were warned. You were warned in 2017 who these guys are. 